Charles here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Kawasaki KRX4 1000. Now this is a great way to get your items out of the cab and tied down on top. There's plenty of tie down points. Now you do need a flat aluminum roof to get this installed. The Profile Aluminum Roof from Tusk is a great option and you can get the Adventure Roof Rack in combination kits with either roofs or light bars or any combination of that stuff or you can buy each piece individually. So be aware of that. Click the link in the description below if you need any of those kits or just the Adventure Roof Rack. But as far as installation goes, it's pretty simple to do. Now we obviously have already used this one, but I'm going to take this off and show you guys how to get it installed. To start out, I've laid out everything in order, including the hardware. You want to compare this to your instructions and make sure everything is there. Now I know this looks like a lot of stuff, but it's really not that complicated. I just want to talk about what each piece is. So right here, we've got the front and rear plate. So the front one's a little bit taller. You've got the side rails. So the shorter ones, they're going to be closer to the front, the longer ones they're going to taper towards the back. And then you've got your cross members here. So the first four are going to be numbered. One, two, three, four, and they progressively get wider. All the ones in the back are going to be the same. So you've got four in the back. And then again, all the hardware and these two plates that go on the side, they're just going to help support everything and attach the front to the back. Now over at the machine, we're going to start out by removing the six bolts that hold the roof into place. You're going to use a four and five millimeter Allen along with 13 and 10 millimeter sockets for this if you have the Tusk aluminum roof. And then in the front, you've got two spacers that will not be reused and these mounting bolts won't be reused either. But the four spacers in the back, we are going to reuse those. Now in the front two corners, we need to make these holes just a little bit bigger. So we're using the supplied 21 64th inch drill bit to go through the roof and through that little hole in the gusset. And the gusset, we're going to drill up from the bottom. Now one note, when you do this, make sure you have your roof lined up exactly where you want it before you drill. Now we're going to install cross member number one. So this one's going to be a little bit wider and you've got the mounting locations towards the front of that cross member. So to get this mounted up, what we're going to do is take the longest bolt in the kit. So this is the M8 by 55 millimeter button head bolt. Now I'm going to try to only say this once, but each bolt in the kit is going to have one washer that's going to sit right next to the head. So we're going to go through the cross member. We've got one of these black spacers underneath. And then before I slide this all the way through the mounting location, We've got a new M8 spacer that goes in between the roof and that roll cage gusset. So I'll slide that down into place. Then we can go through the roof, through the spacer, through that gusset. We've got the M8 nylock nut on the back side. And all of the hardware as we install it is going to be left loose until our final steps where we're making adjustments and we'll tighten everything down. Now, with this, keep in mind that all of the numbers or letters are going to be on the driver's side as we install these cross members towards the back. Then we're going to install that same hardware group on the other side of that cross member. Now, moving back, we need to install our cage supports. So this is going to be right next to your B pillar right here, this back bolt on the two where the cage comes together. We're going to remove the nut from this side and install this bracket right there. And then with this bracket on, I'm gonna tighten it just enough to where I can make adjustments. So just snugged up, backing that off just a hair. So I've got that right where I want it. Now what you need to do, just make sure that it is sitting, or the bracket is sitting flush against the roof right there. And again, make sure you have the roof in the exact position you want it. And you're going to take a center punch, mark right up through the middle. Now we've already done that and we've drilled it out. But after that, you're going to take your 21 64th inch drill bit that was supplied in the kit. 
and drill straight through that. Before you fully tighten that roll cage bolt, you're gonna install cross member number four. Again, the number is on the driver's side and it's the same hardware group as number one. So the longest bolt, your washer, we've got our spacer. Go through the roof, through that bracket, nylock nut on the inside. We'll go do that on the other side as well. And just keep in mind that the outer slot is gonna be used for the side rails, so leave that one empty. Now for the roll cage bolt, I'm gonna hold the nut still and only tighten the bolt. That's gonna help prevent that bracket from rotating. And then we'll do the final tightening once we have the rest of the roof rack installed and tightened down. Now we've got the two rear cross members laid out. Again, the R is facing the driver's side. And when you install these, you wanna do that with your side rail. So you'll notice there's a taper on the side rail. The fat part should be facing the front of the machine, skinny part towards the back, and then all of the drilled holes should be on the bottom. So what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna start in the middle. And we're using the same hardware as the other cross members. So longest bolt, we're going through the side rail, then the cross member, spacer, through the roof. And you'll remember, we're using the spacer that already came with the roof that's in between the roof and the gusset. Then we've got the nylock nut on the bottom. And then we're gonna do those same steps in each of the corners as we get these side rails and cross members installed. Now we can install the front side rails. Again, these taper to the bigger end at the front of the machine, then your mounting holes are gonna be in the bottom. We're using the smallest bolts in the kit, and then we've got our washers and the nylock nuts on the bottom. And to install these, I'm using five millimeter Allen and 13 millimeter combo wrench, just because it's kind of hard to reach, gets a little tight underneath these cross members. So I'm using that wrench to hold the nut in place. Just make sure you loosely install all of this hardware so we can make adjustments later. Next, we have the side connector plate. So we've got four M8 by 20 millimeter bolts, the washers, and then the nylock nuts on the inside. Now for the back plate, this is gonna fit inside of the side rails. And just make sure you have the Tusk logo in the correct orientation. So the top of the triangle is gonna point up. We're using the M8 by 20 millimeter button head bolts. We've got the washers go through both pieces and then the nylock nut on the inside. Now for the remaining cross members, the front ones are numbered, the back ones just say R on them. And again, those letters are numbers. They're gonna be facing the driver's side. And we're gonna install those in the round holes in between the slots. And again, we're using the 20 millimeter bolts with the washer and nylock nut. Now for the front plate, it's the same thing. The side rails are gonna be on the outside of the tabs on that plate. So we're just gonna slide it into place. And again, we're using those M8 by 20 millimeter bolts. And 
Now from here, we can go ahead and make our adjustments and tighten down all of the hardware. The first thing you wanna do is tighten all of the eight mounting bolts that secure the roof to the machine. And then we're gonna go back through from the front and work our way back and tighten the remaining hardware. And throughout this process, you just wanna make sure everything is squared up and in line. You do have quite a bit of adjustability in this, both side to side and a little bit front to back as well. So again, square that up. Now, word to the wise, the corners on these front brackets or the front plate, you're gonna to have to temporarily remove that front bolt to get the side rail hardware tightened down. So do this one last on each side is what I would recommend. And just a couple tips when you're centering everything up. I like to start with the cross members where they go through the roof. Make sure those are centered from side to side in between the adjustment. And in the back, you're gonna pay attention to that side rail at the same time and make, it, make sure it's squared up to the roof. Then you can tighten down the side plates and that's gonna help with alignment for the front side rails. And then you're just gonna center that up side to side in the front and then you can tighten everything down. Now the next step is optional, but if you're gonna load the adventure roof rack up with slightly heavier items, you're gonna to wanna to install these support spacers. They just go in the middle of your cross members and all you have to do is take that supplied drill bit, 21 64ths, and we're gonna drill straight through. Then you've got the M8 by 45 millimeter button head bolt. You've got the washer, you're gonna go through that spacer in between the cross member and your roof. And then you've got the nylock nut on the inside. And to get that spacer installed, it's easiest just to flex everything a little bit, slide that under, put all the bolts in first, and then you can put the nut on the back side of all of them and tighten them all down at once. So that's it for installing the Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Kawasaki KRX 41000. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. And again, if you haven't picked one of these up and you're just seeing what it takes to get it installed, you can pick these up on our website. Just click the link in the description below. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.